welcome back to my channel. Today I shall be doing another what I eat in a day video, but in this video I'll actually be showing you guys how I track my minerals and macronutrients. So this type of video has been highly requested ever since I posted in one of my recent videos about me talking about how I do track. And yes, I do track on most days, but that is really because before I started to track, I was actually unconsciously not eating enough. I was not I didn't have enough energy and I was not hitting my daily requirement intakes. And I do know that does have a lot to do with because I am in recovery and my body is still unsure with what is and isn't a normal amount. So I feel like tracking is really healthy for me and because I do have a mentally a good relationship with food now that I feel like it is totally fine and it is no stress upon myself. And I know if I ever did feel any stress or anxiety towards tracking, I would stop. I am very aware of that and I'm very in control of my own mind. So I feel like tracking for me is healthy for where I am at. So yes, I do track on most days. Obviously I'm not obsessed with it and I don't stress if I can't do it on a day that I'm going out or I'm with friends or something. But on most days I do like to track and it has helped me a lot in knowing how much my body needs. Before I started to track, I was not hitting any of my protein, carbs, or fat intake that I needed to. And now that I've started to track, I am so much more aware of how much I am consuming and how much more I am able to get in different foods, basically. So no, I do not recommend this for everyone. I'm just saying this is what I'm doing and it is helping me. And if you feel like it's not going to help you, don't even bother downloading the app and don't start it. So the app that I use to track my macronutrients is actually called Chronometer and I do it, I have an app on my phone or I can do it on my laptop. So I'll roughly track everything in throughout the day and at the end of the day, I'll show you guys my intake and my protein, my carbohydrates, my fat and where I am roughly sitting at with all of that. But also remember guys that my requirement intake is completely different to yours. My macronutrients that I shall be hitting is completely different to yours as well. So this is just me showing you some guidelines and just basically how I'm using tracking with a healthy relationship and showing you guys how to do it and how it can help you and showing you guys the pros and the benefits towards tracking. So here is what chronometer looks like and here is the date, the 25th of April. And so I've just put pancakes in. I've made like a little recipe. You can make your own recipes on here, it's pretty good. So pancakes with my recipe, that's the full recipe with strawberries and peanut butter. All together for breakfast, I have 687 calories. Protein, it's up to 22 grams, and that's pretty good seeing as though I haven't had any protein powder or any supplements or anything like that. That's just from like natural whole foods. Um, carbohydrates, 81 grams, and fat is sitting at 27.5. So my minimum is around 30 grams of fat, and my maximum is around 50, and that's purely because I feel as I feel my best when I am consuming that amount. If I have any less than that, I am I feel very unsociated and unsatisfied with my food and I find that I'm always hungry. And if I have any more than that, I feel really lethargic, tired, and just not so good if I'm having too much fat. So I'm sitting okay. My protein, my maximum is just a guideline. I do have been consuming around 130 some days, 140. But my minimum, I like to hit 78, maximum roughly 100. Um, my carbs, I don't really care with carbs. I, I definitely like a minimum of 260. I feel good with minimum of 260, maximum 260. I, you know, I'm, I'm usually sitting around 260, 250 kind of thing with my carbohydrates just depending on what activities I've done that day, I guess, and how much like fuel I have needed. And so down here, you can check all your minerals, your fiber, your iron. So it is, it's such a good app and except my B12, I have been so slack with my B12 supplements. If you guys have any recommendations on an easier way to consume B12, Please comment below because I'm so forgetful when it comes to supplements and I'm shit afraid of needles. So I don't think that is going to be an option. 
So as you can see, my minerals is already quite good and I've only had one meal. As you can see, I'm already one meal down and I'm one third of the way to hitting my requirements. And that is pretty good. I still have obviously a lot of food to go. I'll just keep you guys updated and you guys can see me next meal. It is now the morning after I have filmed the intro of this vlog and I'm just going to get on my chronometer and show you where I'm at. Okay, so here it is. So I've logged everything in. Unfortunately, with chronometer, it doesn't actually have it in sections. So I have to kind of write my own section. So I've done breakfast up here, lunch. I had the tofu sweet potato salad. I already have made my little like recipe for that. That's why it has that little like green signal bowl thingy <laughs> drink. Then I had my um, protein powder dinner I've just individually put everything in and then I'm sitting at 2163 calories my protein is 138 grams I had a big leg session that day so I did want to actually up my protein a lot and as you can see my protein powder got me right up there I don't actually have the white wolf in here, but this organic vegan protein vanilla, it's the same thing and I've just adjusted it so it's the same like amount of protein and like calories and stuff. My carbohydrates are 269 which is pretty good and my fat is roughly at 48.6. I like it to sit around there or just a bit lower if I can, just purely because like I said before, I don't like how I feel if I have too much fat. And my energy is very good. So we'll have a look at my minerals and nutrients. As you can see, majority of the boxes are green. I have hit nearly everything. And starch. And like the rest that I haven't hit is probably like due to the fact that I actually fill in a lot of my food. So I don't actually fill in the minerals, fill in the main macronutrients and the calories. So that is that main reason. But other than that, I've hit everything. I don't understand why my starch and sugars. Go away, Tiff. Bloody hell, I'm filming. So yeah, as you can see, everything is quite good. And this is roughly around every day for me. Obviously it fluctuates with my activities so the less I exercise the less hungry I am the more I exercise the more hungry I am and like I said because I did do a big leg session that day I did want to up my protein and as you guys know I am trying to build quite a fair bit of size and muscle so I am wanting to up my protein so really I've had my scans done and they said for my body weight that I only really need to be consuming around 80 to 90 grams of protein but you know what? I don't want this to be a slow process. So I am consuming around 100 to 140, like you can see. And if you go down here, I'll see what foods are like the highest in certain nutrients. So like potassium, got my tofu and sweet potato salad right up there. And that's purely because there was probably kale in that, kale and tofu. And then I have my sweet potato bake, that's right up there. See, everything is quite high in everything. Magnesium, 
brown rice right up there. And we'll go up here. So my B12 is still zero and I still have not taken any supplements. Oh my God, Christy, I, I'll, I'll take some today, I swear. Oh my God, I'm so bad. This is just me being real with you guys. I'm really bad. Am I even vegan if I don't take B12? I need to get on that, literally. Okay, so yeah, this is my food intake for the day, roughly. As you guys always ask me and because I don't post everything that I eat on Snapchat, and on Instagram, a lot of people ask me, how are you like hitting all your targets that you say that you're hitting when you post a photo of oatmeal or when you post a photo of sweet potato salad? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't eat that all day, okay? I'm not on my phone 24 seven. I don't like to post everything that I eat. And I do try to post everything that I eat because I know that it inspires you guys and motivates you and gives you guys some ideas. But I, this is just me letting you guys know that I don't post everything that I eat and I know that I'm tracking my requirement intakes and my macronutrients because I am tracking it. So thank you guys who are worrying, but you don't need to worry. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys did like this video of me showing you guys how I track and what I track and what I'm aiming for and all that whatnot. So if you did like this type of video where it's kind of like a shorter what I eat in a day video where it gets straight to the point rather than having all vlogs in it, please let me know down below. And if you guys are new here, make sure that you do subscribe because it really supports my channel. And I want everyone to comment down below the videos that they want me to make pretty please. I'm gonna go, I'll see you in my next video. Adios.